and welcome back to Kayleigh Colson Explores and today we're exploring an abandoned garden centre in Burgess Hill. Okay, so today I'm here with Dan. Um, you probably recognise him from my previous videos. If you haven't watched them already, they're going to be linked below, so please check them out. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, check them out. <laughs> As I said, today we are in Burgess Hill. Um, it's probably about an hour and ten minutes away from home, so we've drove quite far for this location. Um, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more. Right, let's go. Yeah. Right, so we've just made it to the property. There it is. And I think we'll just start with the double garage just in front of me. Okay, so as you can see, Fully stocked. Got a little uh, bit of furniture, load of paper, smashed tiles. Got a chair. Take a little sit down if you want. <laughs> Done though. Well, you know what? If that chair breaks, I'm gonna cry with a laugh. You know that, right? <laughs> How's it feel? Very uncomfortable. You look it. <laughs> oh, it's like a toilet. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought it was just a normal it's chair. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just made you sit on it. That's the main doorway to the house. So I think it might be worth just getting in. There's the front door. Right. Oh, we've got our first room. So I think this was probably like a um, uh, utility room. Wow. Can you smell the damp? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Well, oh, God, wow. Look at the ceiling. Whoa. Okay, so that side of it is completely falling through. But mainly, look at the damp on the ceiling. Jesus. That used to be white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've got a kitchen here. We've got an oven. Literally nothing inside. Got your hot rings. And to be fair, if I get in the corner, this kitchen is actually really big. If you obviously put Dan's size in perspective. I'm tiny, by the way, so <laughs> it'll fool you, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, it's actually nice, nice size. And oh wow, as you can see, the floor has completely fallen through from the middle panel all the way up the hallway. There we are. So we're gonna have to walk a little tiny across. What you got in there? Okay, so a toilet, smash basin, obviously. And some really cool tiles. Hang on, look at them. They're really cool. Quite random. There are the only five there, but yeah. So that's the bathroom. All right. I'm assuming more than likely this was a bedroom. Thinking about the uh, the cupboard space. That's normally sort of a bedroom kind of design thing. Right, there's stuff on the floor. Uh, insulation, I believe. Yes. And yet again, you can see the ceiling has completely had it. Oh, there's a mirror. Hey guys, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make right the corridor to the oh, just the cupboard. Nothing special. And I think we'll go down that way first. Yeah, to look on it. Pretty much the whole way through this house. Pretty much, she's had it. Oh, around the ladder. Linking up to God knows what. It's not. It's not a lot. There's a loft at the beginning. Yeah, it's at the end, the beginning of the house. Another toilet. And then the actual bathroom. Because a lot of houses back in the day used to be separate, so there we are. And then this is at the end of the house. And I think this is probably our master bedroom. Load of cabinets. And a huge mirror. No one's even smashed that. Yay! Oh, that's a bad angle. Can't get the lighting. We like ghosts. Ooh, <laughs> spooky. <laughs> yeah. By looking at these lights, these are normally for like you know beside a bed. So yeah, this is probably the master bedroom. Obviously, the bed would have been there, and your lights either side. So that's the masters. I'll let you go first. Someone was very insecure. <laughs> but look at all the locks. There's wow. one at the top. One. Four locks in that door. Two, three, four, five. Five locks. Jeez. Okay, that was not subtle whatsoever. That is incredible. Okay, this is the graph room. Oh wow, another big piece. Hey, that's actually so big I can't fit it in my frame. So I've got some uh, fireplaces over here. It's 
to be fair, not actually in bad condition. Yet again, considering how long it's been abandoned. And as you can see, an absolute ton of paperwork. But I'm not gonna film it guys, it's aggravated trespassing. But I can see a check on the floor for 150 pound, wow. And no, the answer, I'm not going to check it in guys. <laughs> we will start commenting, you should cash it in. Um, and then got a table here, the saw, some cans, and absolutely lovely big windows, like really, really big. This makes this look extremely dodgy because it literally looks like someone was either tortured here or yeah, kept hostage. Yeah, it does hostage. look a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? Yeah. The saws, toolbox, water bottle, knife. gloves. Actually, no, knife. that's a gasoline can. It's even worse. And obviously you got rope on the chair. Okay, not, not gonna lie, this, this just screams, um, this literally screams dodgy. Like I said, it's kind of like a scene out of Saw. Yeah. Literally with a saw on the chair. Yeah. The gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Well, I can't see any remnants, so we should, no. we should be fine. <laughs> so that was the house, guys, but I'm gonna flick you around to the garden centre, because this place is actually a shop as well. So we'll mm. go through the garden centre and see what we can find. Oh, that was wet, why? Just Why? moist. <laughs> moist. There's down the side of the property. The door that we entered through. Some shoes and stuff. Nothing really major in here. Right, yeah, we'll make our way through to the uh, garden centre. But just before I do... Oh, hang on. So that's the actual front of the property. And it's actually a really big bungalow. It's really, really sizeable. I'm not going to lie, I can't understand why it's abandoned because it's beautiful. It's got a double garage. It's got, like... How many bedrooms? Three, wasn't it? Three. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. But yeah, the garden centre is just through there, so we'll head through there. Okay, guys, so I have been warned on a really hot day, this is like literally like walking into a sauna. As you can imagine, it is a greenhouse, it's a garden centre, so it's going to be really hot. Luckily, at the moment, we're okay, but we'll soon see when we get in there. I've got a feeling it's going to be hot. That is awesome. Look at that. It's huge. Yeah, so this bit, guys, was actually a shop. They used to sell all the plants. Um, all of these, obviously, that would have been potted at the time and had lovely bits and pieces growing. Um, yeah, just in that corner, the gazebo was the shop. So I'm going to take you over there. Here we are. So as you can see, please pay here. Um, that was the till. There's a phone just over the back, obviously. So I can maybe take orders or something, I'm assuming. Lots of paperwork. Got loads of little like tags, names of plants. Oh, a little mirror. That looks really old actually. Brochures. Actually, it might be worth seeing when the date was on this. That might give us an indication as to when it was abandoned. I've just found an invoice. I'm not going to show the box, it's got the phone number, but you can see the 9th, the 6th, the 14th. And there is a magazine here. 20th November 2014. Um, that was for, for obviously like an advertisement, but obviously it would have run out within that year because they wouldn't obviously advertise old stuff. So I think this place is probably around the 2014 mark, isn't it? Yeah. It's got, it's got, well, it might even be before that or after it, I have no idea, but um, yeah, so about that time, we'll roll with that. <laughs> really lovely little planter. Oh, that's so cute. And that's, that's unique. A cross-shaped flower bed. Huh? Even more greenhouses out here. Is there? Yeah. Oh, Go nice. straight through the other side, I think it goes all the way to the house. Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow. Oh, there's a little piggy! Come here. It's me and you, little frog and piggy. Which one's piggy? Obviously me. <laughs> <laughs> you as the frog. Right, so that was inside the, uh, the garden centre. And just before we uh, head off, there is another outbuilding just on that side. So, go and have a flick in there and I'll catch up with you once we get there. Right, and these are our final buildings. So I think we'll head to that little one down the end first. This building was also a shop. I know that for a fact. So there's one side of the shop. There's another little, um, maybe like a little kitchenette area. Table. Not really much in there to be honest. It looks like it's been emptied out pretty nicely. And then uh, onto the barns. Oh, okay. It's got a little paint. Mm. Um, sand. 
Okay. Yet again, loads of cards for all the plants. Some drawers. There's a stake for a vampire. <laughs> God, that is big. Whoa. Yeah. Not a great deal in here. Might as well move to the next one. Yet again, just a load of stuff on the floor. Nothing really major on that one. And then our final building. Ooh. Got some barrels. What was that? It looks like a front part of a tractor. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, it looks like a tractor part. But then again, it's... I don't know. Built into the wall. No, I actually don't know. That's like the pipes go straight into the wall. Yeah, they straight know. outside the wall. A generator so or something? But the front of it looks like a tractor. Yeah. It's got all the vents. Also, no, guys, I don't know what this is, but it stinks of fuel. But if anyone does know, hang on, I'm just gonna get a good shot so you can uh, let me know. But yeah, if anyone knows what that is, please comment below, because I actually have no idea. But it's definitely used for some sort of petrol because it stinks of it, so there we are. Got the mains up there. Oh, wow, look above my head. It's a surfboard. An actual surfboard on the roof. Why? Yeah, again, just loads of stuff. Building materials mainly. And then that's the end of the barn. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> and there we go, guys. That was the abandoned garden centre in Burgess Hill. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to this video. All of our links will be down below, so please go and check that out and do all the good bits. Um, and if you haven't already, turn the notification bell because that's when you get notifications when our next posted. Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned and I'll catch up with you shortly. Bye! Bye.